Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of Read a Book Today with me. And today, I'll be taking you on a quick trip to my library. And we'll be talking about habits using James Clare's book, Atomic Habits. Yeah. So, James Clare's book, Atomic Habits, has been popular because it gives easy and proven ways to build good habits and break bad ones. Habits are actually the little drops of water that makes an ocean. They are the things we do every day that becomes automatic, that influences our behavior and how we pursue our goals. And most times, we focus too much on the goals and forget the habits. Everyone wants to win in life, the goal had always been there. The goal doesn't differentiate the winners from the losers. Only a system of continuous small improvement makes a difference, what James Clare calls atomic habits. So, how do you build habits in first simple steps? One, you make it obvious. Two, you make it attractive. Three, you make it easy. Four, you make it satisfying. To make it obvious, design your environment for the habits. Let's say you want to send a mail, put it in your drawer so that you don't forget. And use the habit stacking method, place a step after a step like a chessboard game. To make it attractive, associate the habit with a positive feeling. Instead of seeing the competition as a way to be nervous, see it as a way to show your skill or join a culture where your desired behavior is a normal behavior. To make it easy, don't procrastinate, use the two minute cue. Perform the habit every two minutes every day till it becomes automatic. To make it satisfying, get an accountability partner that holds you responsible. And Success will serve as a reward for you. So how do you break an habit? Do everything in reversal. The first steps, do everything in reversal. To break an habit, don't make it easy to do. Don't make it satisfying. Don't make it obvious. And you will break an habit. So, don't forget to change the right thing. Behavior change comes in three forms, outcomes, process, and identity. Outcome is the goal, process is the habit, identity is who you are. Change the process and not the outcome, and the outcome will be changed as a result of the process. So guys, I'm still your favorite reader. Thank you for following me every day. Don't forget to connect with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or through my website. Thank you subscribe